Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn a easy and easy spike stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now in this spike stitch I've alternated colors here in each of the rows giving it a fun and unique look. So this is an easy spike stitch. It's similar on the back as it is on the front. It's a solid fabric and it's fairly thick as well because of these spike stitches. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be working this stitch in two different colors. This mineral yellow and then this coppery brown color. Uh, this is Pima Cotton by Lime Brand, a 100% worsted weight cotton. I'm also going to be using a 5mm crochet hook. Links to both of these items you can find in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, say hello down in the comments, and let me know how you would use this stitch in an upcoming project. Our easy spike stitch today is worked in rows. We're going to start by taking our color A and by making a slip knot. You're then going to want to chain a foundation chain, and for this stitch, we're going to need an even number, so any multiple of two stitches. Um, an even number of chains. So uh, today I'm going to chain 20. Once you've chained an even number of chains, you're going to begin row bun 1 by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row 1, chain 1 and turn your work. For row 2, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch. The chain 1 does not count as a stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to your final stitch you're going to switch to your color B which I'm going to show you how to do in just a moment once I come across. Once you come across and you have one final stitch remaining, what you're going to do in order to switch to your new colors, you're going to insert your hook into that final stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You can then drop that color A, pick up your second color, place it on your hook, you're welcome to use a slip knot if you'd like, and simply pull it through. Now depending on your project you may wish to fasten off uh, the color but if you're working in edging or a project where the edge doesn't matter as much you can leave it attached as I'm going to do here and uh, just carry it loosely up the side. So what we're going to do then for row 3 and row 4 is chain 1 and turn and then work in our new color, our color B a single crochet into each stitch all the way across. So you're working two rows of single crochet stitches at the end of that second row in your color B you're going to switch back to your color A. So I'm here at the end of my row 4 I'm switching back to my color A, which is located just down the side, drawing it up the side and pulling it through. I'm then going to chain one for row five and turn my work. Now for row five, we're going to begin by working a single crochet into our first stitch, and we're going to work a spike stitch 
into or over the next stitch and under the stitch two rows below. So we're going to, uh, no, sorry, not going to yarn over, so we're working over the stitch below into the stitch two rows below or kind of under it. So insert your hook, just way down, yarn over, drop a loop to the height of your single crochet, yarn over and pull through two. That's your spike stitch. You're then going to single crochet into the next stitch and repeat. Work another spike stitch over top of the next stitch and under the stitch two rows below. It takes a little bit or it can take a little bit to get this first row set up. Single crochet in the next stitch and then repeat. And what you're doing with your spike stitches and your little single crochet stitches, you're skipping one stitch in between. So spike stitch in the next stitch, two rows below, and then single crochet in the next. Repeat that all the way across your work. Here are my final two stitches. Single crochet into that final stitch. Chain one, and then you're going to turn your work. For row six, single crochet into that first stitch, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across, switching to your color B in that final stitch. At the end of your row six, you've switched to your color B, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row seven, we're going to single crochet into each of the first two stitches. We're going to work more spike stitches, but we want to stagger them in between. So we're going to single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet into the second stitch. We're now going to work a spike stitch uh, over the next stitch and under that stitch two rows below. So we're working in the stitch in between the previous two spike stitches. So insert your hook just down below, drop a loop, pull through. So uh, spike stitch and then single crochet stitch and repeat all the way across. Spike stitch and single crochet. Your spike stitches will always be falling in between those uh, other spike stitches from row five. All the way across. These ones are easier to see. So it does go a little bit quicker than your previous row. When you come to your final stitch, simply single crochet into that final stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For row eight, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to your final stitch at the end of row eight, you're going to switch back to your color A. 
chain one and turn and you're now ready for the repeat. So for the rest of the pattern, you're going to repeat rows five, six, seven, and eight. So our last four rows for as long as you would like and uh, then fasten off and weave in your ends and enjoy your Easy Spike Stitch project. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.